Hello guys, I'm Draco and welcome to Dracoverse. Let's play some more BTD Battles 2. This is a new game which launched about 2 days ago. Downloaded link is in the description and thank you so much for watching guys. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to win almost all of your games, which monkeys to tear up, how to have fun with the game and what are the problems with this game, and heroes, monkeys and other stuff. So stay tuned. Before that, Thank you so much for watching once again and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you are so so important to me so first off let's jump into monkeys yeah in monkeys you have four classes primary military magic and supports so each each tier i would mention one monkey that is a must max for you guys early on according to me in primary I will definitely say Tax Shooter. That's because Tax Shooter's overdrive ability, if you can get this early on in the game, and it's really, really cheap for a tier 4, you can get this by like round 2 pretty much easily, or even round 1 without placing your hero. And I will get back to heroes in the later video, later stages of the video, but if you can get this Tax Shooter overdrive, this can demolish almost every balloon there is including the bigger balloons like zombs and stuff uh the big old uh, black and uh, green one i don't know the exact name for it i'm sorry about that but this can demolish like if you put in like four or five clustered together and if you have something that could slow down the bigger monkeys this would destroy so my suggestion is that in the primary sector you actually max out your uh, Tax shooter no matter what uh, that's because this is so so strong and next off let's come to military in military i have two choices here or two options uh that is one is monkey buccaneer that is because he can deal with camo leads pretty much like easily for like cheap so so cheap so this guy is pretty good and once you have cannon ship and once you have monkey pirate monkey pirate does actually harpoon a moab class balloon and brings it down so you don't have to worry about a child and something it does harpoon a uh, bigger bigger balloons uh, except for uh, i think zom the purple one it can actually eat up or harpoon a lot of things so in my opinion it is better to actually max out monkey monkey buccaneer at um, the stage and it i would say it's actually pretty cheap uh, for actually getting it to that point and the next one here is monkey sub that's because monkey subs submergent support ability it actually permanently reveals camo so if you have this you don't have to put in a village uh to detect like camo but village is also really really important i will discuss about that uh later stages of the video in the later stages of the video but if you want to go for it, you actually can go for submerging support early on to give you that edge. And this only is like 2250 XP. And you can get that pretty much like if you start playing the game. If you start uh, leveling up uh, from tier to tier. Uh, I mean the stadium. Uh, okay. So once you start uh, tearing up from stadiums to stadium, uh, you will start gaining more XP the more time you play. So if you're at lead, you'll get more XP. If you're at ceramics, you'll get more XP compared to the lead thing. So that's how that's how the game works for now. So these are my two picks for uh, uh, military towers because I feel like they're really, really good and you want to max out. In magic tower, I am actually going to go for ninja monkey. Because ninja monkey can deal with anything. Literally anything. And when I discuss about balloons later on, I will discuss about some weaknesses and strengths and which are like easy win strategies, right? When it comes to winning strategies, I think Ninja Monkey is a part of it for me always, all the time. Because I love this monkey so much and he deals with everything. If you have a balloon sabotage, it actually reduces the movement speed for 15 seconds of all balloons. So it gives your uh, other uh, monkeys or other towers enough ample space or time to deal with that one. The Blunjutsu Ninja, he just demolishes. He just demolishes. His attack speed and stuff is just insane. And then Sticky Bombs can deal with Moab Balloons. Yeah. It can actually destroy Moab Balloons in like 1-2 to two shots, which is just crazy. So, according to me, uh, I would say Ninja Monkey is so, 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 so powerful, uh, this thing. And 
And even though Super Monkey is really, really powerful and stuff, he's not viable. That's because he's freaking expensive, dude. Look at that. Okay, just to get laser blast on this guy, it is 2,300. Are you serious? Like, literally. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even asking. Just to get that. By that time, I think I can get a flash bomb or uh, shinobi tactics or even double shot on this guy like pretty easily. It's, it's so much better. This guy is so much, Ninja Monkey is so much better than Super Monkey. And this game's problem is the fact that once you go to battle and once you hit battle, it always is uh, related to trophies. It's not like free to play. It's not like, uh, how do I put this? It's not like, you cannot go late game with this. Everyone is trying to win. So, so, that's because the more you win, the more XP you get for your monkeys. So it's just like, it, that's how the game works. So there is no like casuals. There is only ranked. So when there is only ranked, people are always trying to win. They're not going to have fun much. So this is going to be really difficult to pull off Super Monkey unless you're playing versus uh, a friend or someone you uh, really, really love. A close one and in support towers this one right here monkey village monkey village is a must pick literally i'm not even kidding monkey village is a must pick that is because if you go with a uh, monkey commas okay just for 500 it's just 500 if you put that in an additional five percent discount that can be stacked up to two other villages with this upgrade so uh, it actually discounts your uh, monkeys. So you can actually put this in, put this in and radar scanner. And actually you can like chill, chill out. It's easy. And next off, you have um, uh, this one right here. Monkey town and monkey cities. Which actually give you more econ each turn. Which is also really good. But the best part about this is monkey intelligence bureau. Which allows your monkeys to pop all types of balloons. Which is so so good so you don't have to worry about any balloons you can just put that in and you, if you put in like a couple of blunjutsu ninjas yeah uh, if you put in like some blunjutsu monkeys and also shinobi tactics my god you don't have to worry about anything that would take you to like about 40 here uh, turn 40 i guess so these are my choices for uh must max monkeys but it's up to you guys to decide uh, whatever you want to play or whatever you want to max, it's up to you guys to decide. So I will leave that to you. But these are my opinion. So don't mind with that. Now, let's talk about heroes. Well, well, well. We have four heroes right here. Four heroes uh, right now. Since this is version one, I think they will implement the other heroes that are at a, a BTD6 actually. But uh, my favorite actually is Quincy. And Quincy is good. Don't don't mind me. Uh, Quincy can deal with camos. Quincy can deal with lead because of this ability right here. Fires an explosive arrow every third shot. And at five, she can deal with the uh, or he can deal with camos. But but Gwendolyn is so much stronger compared to her or him. That is because at level four, he gets something called heat up. Every few seconds, he creates a powerful blast around himself that pops. That adds like fire to nearby uh, monkeys attack, which is just so crazy. So it, it it actually pops extra layers of balloon overall. And if you get him to like 17, it does more damage to lead balloons. It pops extra layers. This is this guy is so so good. So you are going to be offered with two free to play monkeys heroes, a Quincy and Gwendolyn. So you can go with whatever you want, whatever you want. But I would highly suggest Gwendolyn if you are. Kind of like the you want to win kind of the guy. But then it's Striker Jones and um, Open Greenfoot. These two guys, they are really good. That's why they have to be unlocked through monkey bucks. And I am saving my monkey bucks to unlock them. And these guys are so, so good as well. His totems, his this guy, this guy's ability is so good. Uh, Brambles and also a Wall of Trees. Wall of Trees generates you so much money. I think it's like 6,000 money. 6,000 money. And that's crazy. And this actually also deals with early game pressure, which is actually really good. And this guy also buffs up. Uh, where is that? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Nature's Ward is kind of his ability to put on a, uh, what is that? A ward that actually slows down monkeys and reduces its cooldown and stuff. It's it's so good. 
this game is overall really really good and this game supports magic monkeys so if you want to play magic related uh, monkey comps you can actually go for this guy and striker jones the same with this guy this guy is really good he he gives like he just like demolishes every every monkey so there is a strategy with this guy that i will discuss when uh, we play a match but yeah so if you want to play uh, military monkeys this guy is really good to deal with military monkeys especially bomb shooters and motor monkeys literally so they they actually shoot faster they shoot faster and once you there is a strategy that i said right you can actually go to military you can put in sub it at submerge and support and you can have your where is that you can have uh, a lot of bomb uh, towers uh, with cluster bombs and recursive clusters near that and this destroys each and every monkey and if you could put in a village that could target every type of mon uh, monkey yes uh, if you can get a village that has uh, monkey intelligence bureau that's just gg you're set for about like round 40 so that's the strategy i was discussing about and this is just so good since we discussed about the heroes, how do they free stuff here? Everyone loves free stuff, don't they? For free stuffs, you go to shops and every day, you you can actually claim some of this. I, I did claim mine already, so that's why it shows like free, uh, like 5 hours. So you can get stuff for free here, uh, which actually will give you monkey bugs and will give you uh, these arrows. These medals or these arrow medals are so important, that is because they are required to actually open these chests and the more chests you open the more likely you are going to get monkey bugs to unlock your heroes and stuff and uh, also i did open a silver chest or a great chest early on which did give me yes one hour uh, or two hours of uh, additional uh, multiplier so i get more xp i get more monkey bugs i get more uh, of this uh, this rewards and stuff so it is really good to actually actually um uh go for winning strategies and uh, it's it's better to save those up and uh make sure you make some time if you get uh these kind of things i did not know i will get this so that's the reason i just opened it and i got this but i'm recording a video for you guys so thank you so much for watching anyways now let's jump into a battle and i will discuss about how to econ really really well uh, what are the balloons weaknesses uh what stuff uh, you need to be like wary of and stuff like that okay unable to connect where is that okay we queue up again and okay while we are at it i will discuss about uh, the problems with this since this is only ranked people don't go late game at all i love quincy so i will go for quincy and uh, this is my early game uh, board it's, it's up to you guys to decide what you want to play with that. But I love that. I love that quite a lot. So I, I, I do go for that. So, uh, yeah. As I was saying, it's just like, I don't know, man. Uh, it's just something. Now, nah, early on, don't put your uh, monkey. Put your tax shooter early on. And upgrade your tax shooter to this one. Yes. Upgrade your tax shooter to this one and start setting econ. The best way to econ, right? I will add it. I will add it. Okay, I want to upgrade this. Yes, okay, we got this. So that actually wins me. This this literally actually carries me to like round 10, literally. Not even kidding. This is so good if you get faster shooting as well. I will put it at the light, left side or the right side. The best way to econ. And I will also discuss with you guys. The best way to econ is actually to put um what is that round one and two send red balloons uh round three and four send blue balloons round five and no four and five uh, send green balloons round six and seven send yellow balloons and round eight and nine send pink balloons and after round nine keep sending your pink balloons that is the best way to econ actually so we are at round uh three and uh, we, I am saying that, that is because balloons actually, they spawn or they go really fast. So the faster they go, literally, the faster they go, uh, the more economy that you're generating. And the economy is this. So each like 10 or 15 seconds, you're going to be gen uh, getting this much money. So it's, it's pretty good, right? And I will put in Quincy because he's a hero for me. 
He is. He's the hero for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. So once we reach 5, uh, you start sending in greens. Because they are, like, they are really, really fast. In early game, when you're sending these, you can reach, like, 500 econ, like, pretty easily. Pretty much, like, pretty, like, I think, like, about uh, round 5. Before round 5 ends, you can reach, uh, you can reach that. And I am gonna put on some of my guys, actually, some of the ninjas here. Okay, we are close to reaching that margin. Well, we did reach that, right? We did reach it. Okay, before round 5, we reached 500. That's that's a big deal. That is a, that is a really, really big deal. So, you go for catacombs? Okay, come on. Okay, I'm econing like a madman. So, at 7 or 7.50, I think I always stop to econ. And uh, I will start uh, strengthening my units. So, let's see. Okay, at 7, we are sending, uh, sending LOs. Which are so, so faster. So much, so much faster. So, we are reconning. I think we'll reach by 7, like 7.50. By round 7, we might be able to reach uh, that. Okay, let me just use this, actually. Let me use Quincy's ability, because I don't mind it. So, okay, we are at round 8. Now, nah, we reached 700. Okay, fine. That's alright. As soon as I reach 7.50, I drop and I strengthen my uh, units. Okay, we got it. We got it to that, so we go with this. And I always go for Ninja Discipline early on on this guy. Ninja Discipline, and then I go for Flash Bomb on this guy. That's because this can this guy can deal with uh, lead uh, camos. So that's the reason I'm doing that. So it's up to you guys to decide what you want to go and stuff like that. But if you want to deal with lead camos, you can actually go for Monkey Buccaneer as well. Uh, that is also pretty good. So we did, uh, we did get this and I will want another ninja monkey right here. Uh, with actually uh, counter espionage. Uh, counter espionage, oh. Well, okay. I guess I have to do this then. Okay, he's trying to win against me. He's trying to win against me and he does win, he does win against me. Okay. So, so this is the one problem that actually uh, people actually do. Or this is literally they try to win so much okay they try to win so they send a lot of lot of purples which are damn fast at round 11 so this is a really really good winning strategy but since uh, but uh, since I'm at LO I'm getting quite a lot of XP and I love this I will take this no problem and you can actually multiply this even more by actually using the free multiply that you get uh, each turn I guess uh, not each turn uh, each round so this video we did discuss about how to economy now we are going to try to win we are not going to just econ we are actually going to try to win and i will show you guys the strategy and you did see my opponent use the strategy round 11 send purples with buff and that's just like gg uh that that just almost kills almost like everything except if you have uh, a lot of pack shooters a lot of tax shooters but but that strategy falls really really short really really short when you actually go for uh, uh, a lot of tax shooters early game and a lot of cheap monkeys rather than um, uh, the ninja monkey that i was actually kind of forcing for so let's play another match and uh, let's discuss about the winning strategies I will pick up Quincy because I love Quincy and this map is really really fun. Well, oh this map's really good. Okay, this map okay this map deals. Okay, that map's really good for uh, attack shooters actually. So so if you want to play attack shooters, it's better to actually actually play uh, play attack shooters on that map. Because that map's so good for attack shooters. So early on, we start putting our attack shooters in here, yes. Uh, you start putting in your attack shooters and you start econing. So you start econing pretty much always, all the time. So once we get the uh, tax prayer, we are just gonna do this. And, and, this time around, I am not actually gonna put in my monkey, uh, uh what is that? Uh, Ninja Monkey, so so early on. Yes, 
I'm not gonna put my uh, ninja monkey early on. I am actually gonna wait uh, some time and then put in my ninja monkey. So we are recording like pretty fast. So where is the round three? I think round three like. Okay, yeah. So once round three comes by, I think I'll start putting in. Uh, I'll start sending in uh, blues for economy purposes. Okay, we are sending blues, and I will actually put in monkey buccaneer here. I will hold on uh, to um, ninja monkeys. I will hold on to ninja monkeys actually. I I want to put in a monkey buccaneer right now, right about here actually. Yeah, right about here. Right about here and I want to go long range and crow's nest and uh, grape shot and uh, a hot shot so that gives me camo detection and stuff and this also like yeah this also gives so much more area to cover that is just so good so we econ for now okay crow's nest let's go so this guy can deal with camos I'm okay with that he can also deal with purples so we are we are okay with that so we are sending in those balloons for econ okay uh, round round five i think we will get the uh we will get to 500 actually literally okay i did i didn't want to upgrade that so that's the reason i did something like this so yeah once we start sending these econs and stuff and once we are strong enough we can actually go for other things Okay, it's round 6, we're already at 5. We're already at a good spot, actually. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, no! Okay, we did get that. Okay, okay. So now, uh, for round 7. Round 7, we start sending in uh, yellows. And round 8, we start sending in... Okay. Round 8, we start sending in pinks. Because the faster the balloons are, the more econ that they generate. Which is actually really, really good. So once we reach like 700, I will put in a ninja monkey with the uh, with the uh, frag. Okay, we did reach 700, so I am gonna do it as I mentioned. I'm gonna go with uh, seeking shurikens, catapult, and we need to go for flash bomb, and we need to go for that on strong, not on. First. And I think uh, first is pretty good with this. So we save up those, and then we start econing again. I'm doing this to deal with this guy. Uh, this guy is like, whatever he throws at me, early game. And early game, this is like really, really strong. So, we wait. We literally wait. This guy is really, really weak to camos. He cannot deal with camos at all. He cannot deal with camos at all. So, what we are going to be doing is, we are going to be econing till like around, uh, I don't know. Maybe till we hit like 800 or something and we are going to save. We are going to save our money and we are going to win. Okay, we did hit econ right here, right? Yeah, okay, we did hit econ. Okay, that's 800. Keep your hands ready on this button right here, okay? And, uh, and also, okay, oh, yeah. send in purples. Send in camo purples and boost them. And you just win with that. That's because he does not have a way to deal with camo like uh, purples. Which he did deal pretty much like... Oh, he had... Okay, he had some merch. Okay, so he had so much done that, but we still uh, got uh, first kill. So since this is why uh, monkey uh, stuff is really good, they can actually give you camo detection, and which is so so good. So I think he will try to go with the uh, wait, wait a minute. Okay, I can actually send. Oh, he has another sub here. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, so that's a good strategy that you are. Uh, playing uh, versus like the beginners of uh, oh he's only sending okay okay i have to i have to now uh, strengthen my board i have to strengthen my board and also one of the best monkeys to deal with b sorry ddt's one of the best monkeys to deal with ddt's is actually um mm, wait a minute where is this okay give me that come on i need this i need shinobi tactics i need at least five shinobi tactics yes and uh, I think I'll go with she Seeking Shurikens on this.
So before I get anything, I will actually go for Shinobi Tactics and stuff. I'll at least get 5 Shinobi Tactics and I will go for double shots on my ninjas. And at, I think at round 24 is when you can send a, a DDTs which actually wrecks people. Literally wrecks people. So we have uh, quite a lot of things so we can start econing again. And th like these, this is just like really really good. This is so good. I mean like it's, it's insanely insanely good. I could have one with them like camo leads. Even camo leads can deal amazing because the only thing that could deal with the uh, camo leads is this pirate monkey. This cannot deal with camo leads, so we could have done that. Uh, that might have won us the game, but it's all right. As long as we are econing and we are strong, I'm okay with this. Uh, oh wait, okay, okay. Oh, he is an air mine. Come on. Really, you're sending that? Okay, that we we win against this like almost all the time. We win against this almost all the time, actually. Oh my god, watch me lose here. <laughs> okay, he's sending me this. Okay, he's wasting it. He's actually wasting this pretty much. Like, okay, let me just buff. Let me just buy. Uh, let, let me just buff my monkeys a little bit. So we'll stop recording for now since he's sending a lot of stuff in our way. So yeah, we stop and uh, we try to actually counter this guy, which we did counter pretty much. Pretty much like we countered this guy like crazy. Okay, okay, so we save those. We are at okay, we are at good economy point. So let's start putting in more of uh, our counter spinach dudes. And now I think I'll go with a lot of double shots. And uh, seeking shuriken. I'll go for insane amount on them. Double shots and seeking shurikens. Uh, right here as well. Uh, I think I'll make a counter espionage on this guy. That's cause like having 5 counter espionage is just so good. People don't realize how good this is. Uh, let's go with counter espionage right about now. Yeah, okay, and okay, we have five on every one of these guys, which is just crazy. And if I put in another monkey, okay, right here for uh, Blunjutsu, yes. Okay, this can deal with almost all the things that he's gonna throw. I will I will not send him a zoom. I will not send him a zoom, that's because his tax shoot just crushes zooms, like, it's nothing. Literally. They literally do crush them, like, it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's sending me this, but I don't, I, I don't have to worry about it at all. So we actually go with the uh, counter espionage and these, yeah, flash bombs. We go with a couple of flash bombs and stuff. So let me go with uh, some of this and some of this, and let me go with uh, okay, some right here actually with these. Let me go with this. Let me go with this and let me buff these guys up. Okay, look at that. We dealt with that like really, really easy at round 24. But, but it's a big but, okay? Oh no, oh no. Okay, we, we just use this. We just use this, okay. I am waiting for uh, DDTs. If I have DDTs, once we send DDTs, he's just out. He's just literally out. Look at that. If, if I had a Blunjutsu Ninja right there, uh, we, we definitely been here. We definitely win here and we don't think I don't think we go for uh, that. I think I think we wait for DDTs and we send DDTs. And uh, that actually wins us the game. And uh, early on people are gonna be oh it's just around 25, okay. Let's strengthen our boat some more by putting in a lot of uh, these guys. And distraction on this guy actually. Okay, I'm, I'm actually waiting for DDTs. Once I have DDTs, uh, we win the game. We literally, literally win the game and we are like, we are really strong. He lost all of his economy, by the way. He lost all of his economy, but we are like crazy strong. So all we have to do is wait. All we have to do is wait for DDT at round 26 and then I think we win. And if he can deal with that as well. Okay, this is, this is what I'm talking about actually.
Yeah, he is sending this as well. He is sending this as well. Oh my god, oh my god, am I gonna... Shiz! 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 Okay. Okay, yeah, that's the strategy. Round 26, send DDTs and you win the game. For, like, at, uh, at, actually, uh, what is that? We lost that, but that's good. He knew actually what he was doing, and I knew what I was doing. So, it's simple as that. So, this are the winning strategies that you want to go with. And since these guys have more XP's, I will go for it. I'll go for that. And uh, I am actually good. I'm actually good. So, this is exactly how you want to start uh, winning with... Uh, your monkeys uh, in Bloons uh, TD battles. Since I'm commentating, I cannot concentrate and it's alright. You guys gotta see the strategies. So the strategy is uh, round 12. I will, round 12, send camo. Send camo, okay? People are susceptible to camo. Camo purples was, is really, really good. If they don't have uh, other monkeys to deal with camos. One. And then next, uh, round 26. Send DDTs, DDTs, and uh, if you want to counter DDTs, uh, the best way to counter DDTs is uh, to actually have a ninja monkey that goes like 4-2, a Blunjutsu, or uh, you can have super monkey with plasma, uh, which can demolish uh, DDTs as well, but the biggest uh, strength of uh, the DDT is that it's immune to sharp and explosive. So you want monkey intelligence bureau and stuff to actually be able to deal with that. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section uh, what do you guys um, want to see in the upcoming videos. I will be making a, a clear cut video on uh, monkeys, the maps, uh, the heroes, the different strategies. But this is just to give you guys an overview of uh, what Bloons TD Battles brings to this stage. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Until then, signing off. Trackovers.